Welcome back. I am Amy Lee, certified professional pet groomer since 2003. More importantly, I am your go-to groomer on the web. Thank you for tuning in to episode four of Go Groomer. Two weeks ago, we did an episode called Can a Pet Wash Save You Time and Money? This is the sequel to that. And it's good. Quick announcement before we get started. I have something very special for you guys. I have an exclusive invitation for your pet to feature in an upcoming video. You're not going to want to miss these details. So stay put. Those details I will share with you after the demo with Lily today. How about a little preview of what we're going to do today and where we're going? You're going to want to come with me. I guarantee you, you're going to want to come with me. Let's take a look. So we're going to a pet value. We're going to check out what they have to offer us as far as pet washes are concerned. Just entering one of these unique pet stores is a really fun experience for you and your pet. I'm already impressed, guys. I see lots of incentives here. You may be thinking we're going to spend a high dollar here at this place today. Don't worry, guys. I'll have a full detailed report waiting for you at the end of this demo. This episode is packed with professional grooming secrets exclusively available to you in this episode. Pet Value not only provides you a great place to wash your pet, but they have all the products and tools you may need to do the job. We're getting set up and ready to go for you here, guys. Now you know what's coming for you. Are you ready? Episode 4 of Go Groomer. Let's roll it. She's a clumber spaniel. She's going to be the dog in our demo today. She's really sweet. So let's meet Lily. Hi, guys. I'm Amy Lee. Okay. This is Sue. <laughs> this is Lily. We are going to a pet wash station today at a pet value. Now, Sue, how often do you bathe Lily? I try to never bathe Lily. However, my husband, Mark, bathes her in between grooming appointments. He does. How often do you get a groom? Uh, every six weeks. Every six? That's perfect. Yeah. Good job. How is Lily okay with being bathed? Stuff like that. Um, she fights the bathtub. She um, loves going to the groomer. She oh. it has a, 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 a little romance with her, her groomer, Kathy. So when you bathe her at home, how does how did your husband bathe her? Um, he wrestles her into the bathtub and then tries to hold her like with one hand while he tries to shower. You know, you take the shower and head, keep her from running around, and then trying to keep her from because she's desperately trying to jump out of the slippery bathtub. You know, so it's it's quite um it's an adventure. Does Lily have any any issues with her skin or coat or anything like that that you want to share with her? She tends to shed like a bear. She mats on occasion, like I could feel one. A little mat right here in her armpit. And this behind. silky drop yeah. stuff. You know. Yep. So we're very excited about having her bathe today at the dog wash. Yeah, so this is going to be a first time for you and Lily, correct? Correct. Have you thought about ever using one before? Or? Um, Honestly, not until I watched you do Duke. So, so put a little thought in your head. Yeah. You thought, that does look a lot easier. Yeah, and yeah, safer right? and easier on her um, and a lot easier on on you know us not having to bend over and try to hold her and try to do you know because you're doing yeah, trying to tough. do three hands or four hands worth of things with two hands and it's just so tough. you're very excited to see how this goes with Lily yeah because I think it's going to be really good for Lily I think it's going to be good for my other two dogs so. yes I agree with you 100 percent okay well we are pretty much ready to get going here we have a few things we packed up with us today Lily we brought our facial scrub because we love that tropical facial scrub. We brought a brush with us so we can brush her while she's soaked up and try to loosen up. They do have a little bit of undercoat. This breed does. So do Cocker Spaniels. They actually do. You will get a lot of coat out of them. This particular breed, this is a Clumber Spaniel. She definitely is a, is a consistent, constant shedder. It's consistent. It doesn't stop. It's not a seasonal thing. Never. <laughs> 
So, but we're going to show you how to manage that a little bit and take advantage of the pet wash station and the ease of it. And I'm excited for, for you to experience this today yeah, and for sure. Lily too. So. Ready, Lily? She's ready. Well, let's go. Entering this pet store is so very welcoming. I must say that. Lily felt great too. She was just wandering around, sniffing everything, excited. It really is a, it sets a good pace to get started with your pet. And straight out of the gate, I'm noticing some great incentives here, guys. They suggest it'll be $10 to wash our pet. Now, the last pet wash that we visited, we took a very large Great Dane with us to do our demo. And he was very, very large. So I like the idea of giving you guys something to compare to when we're talking about pet wash stations. And you know that I highly encourage you to take advantage of using those pet wash stations with your pet. They have one, they have professional equipment for you. Two, typically, usually, they have professional products for you to use on your pet too, which are very important. So that's why we're doing these demos and we're exploring these pet wash stations so that you know what to expect. Let's take a look at what you can expect to find at a pet value. They are very nice. Climate controlled, all amenities provided, very clean, fantastic atmosphere. And you get to go shopping for your pet too, which is a true reward for them. And they will remember. They're smart. Okay, back to business now. Let's check out these pet wash tubs that they have available to us here at Pet Value. They are clean, very nice. They have grooming loops in the tub, which are very important, guys. Keep your dogs on a loop. It, it keeps them where they need to be. They have four dryers at both ends. This particular one has three bays three wash bays, and they have a force dryer on each end. So we'll check out later what those force dryers are like. The bathing area is not isolated. It is in the store. At this point, I don't see a problem with that. Pretty nice, huh? Before we break right into this demo, I do want to tell you there's a great tip that I have coming for you guys, an exclusive tip from me to you. It's a professional tip. Typically, only professionals know about this but those days are over because I share those tips with you guys upon check-in with Lily pet value provides us with essentials shampoo and conditioner and towels we're gonna secure Lily in the tub they did provide a pet loop for grooming in the tub I did bring my own though Lily seems nice and comfortable in the tub, so we're going to get started. We're going to start rinsing her heavily before we would wash her or apply any shampoo. We're going to thoroughly rinse, and I will say this sprayer is really nice. It's doing a great job. It gets right into her skin. That's what we want. The water temperature is very consistent. Not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. Lily doesn't seem to mind it at all. I'm impressed so far. That sprayer rocks! We were unaware of the special that Pet Value is having right now on bathing your pet. It is $5. <laughs> it's really cheap. Of course, this is just a promotional thing. They do it from time to time. We're told about once a month. They have $5 bathing. Remember when we interviewed Sue before we started our demo with Lily today? Sue shared that her and her husband have a very difficult time keeping Lily in the tub at home, being able to get the job done that they need to do with her at home. I hope you've noticed so far, as we're working with Lily here at this pet wash station, she's very compliant. That's because she's not at home. That's because she has a lot of stimulation going on around her. She's very distracted, and she certainly doesn't mind what we're doing with her today. So I, I do want to point that out to you guys, because you may be thinking, how's my pet going to behave through something like this? You know, taking them somewhere in public and bathing, brushing, drying, all that. You can clearly see it, it goes very well. So now we're going to start soaping Lily up. We're using that essential shampoo that was provided to us by Pet Value today. Um, they said it was diluted pre-diluted, pre-mixed for us. I'm just not getting a whole lot of lather out of it. That's really doesn't say anything bad about them. 
Um, I, I just don't think that, that I really care for Essentials Shampoo. The Essentials Shampoo, I don't like it. Typically, if I'm using a shampoo that I'm not getting a lot of lather out of it, I'll just continue to keep adding water, lathering, adding water, and lathering. Now, guys, this is one of my favorite products. It's made by Davis. It's the degreaser shampoo. I use it a lot on pets in my shop. I use it around their mouth area, their ears, especially dogs such as spaniels and hounds. Remember, we can always bring our own products if we want to. That's why I brought the degreaser along. I know I love that product, and I know it works great, and I knew it would work great on Lily, especially around her ears, anything that gets a lot of gets oily. I didn't care for their essentials shampoo, but I will say this. The staff there at Pet Value was so accommodating and they had about five, five or six lines of shampoo to be purchased from them. I guarantee you they would, they would give you another option. They did have a full line of Tropiclean. I was impressed. Take notice, guys. Lily's still doing really good here today, wouldn't you say? Maybe you're concerned that your pet would not do very well in a social situation. Your pet may be a little unpredictable socially. So you're thinking, I don't know if this situation will work for my pet. I can tell you right now, in my opinion, it would. Dogs are different when they are not in their space. Stay tuned, after we're done with Lily and this demo, I have something for you guys. I have another option, uh, another pet wash station that they have uh, like 300 locations in the U.S. So, and those of you that aren't in the U.S., I can get that information for you. you know. I'm not forgetting about you guys. I appreciate you. So stay tuned because I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, I have a little advertisement for you at the end of this demo to explain to you more details about uh, that pet wash system and how many there are available to you and how to locate one. So now let's start rinsing Lily around her face. We're going to get that nice, nicely rinsed for her because we're getting ready to wash her face. Of course, we're going to use that Tropiclean facial scrub. I brought that along with us today. Uh, it will actually do fabulous on Lily. I'm very excited to use that product on her. Um, you know, spaniels get a lot of buildup and crustacean type stuff in their face and their mouth and their flu areas and stuff. So here we go. Let's, let's work that in for Lily. Oh, I think she's liking this. Check it out. She doesn't mind, guys. Bathing your dog's like giving them a massage. They love to be touched. They love the attention. So let's let's work that Tropiclean facial scrub all throughout her. Like I said, spaniels, they tend to get a little yucky around the face area and stuff. But, but they can sure be polished right up. No worries there. It's certainly not uncommon for me to wash a dog's face two or three times. I'll wash a dog as many times as it takes till I feel like their coat is, is nice and clean and squeaky, not oiling. Our Tropiclean Facial Scrub, we will take with us every time we go to a pet wash station. Pet Value has a full line of Tropiclean products. And the Tropiclean Facial Scrub is made by Tropiclean. Hopefully they may add that to their amenities that they offer to people who are utilizing their pet wash stations. Now remember, this breed, she is a clumber spaniel. They tend to get a little smelly. Um, they do have a deep flu, a deep pocket there in their mouth. You, you got to get in there and scrub that. Actually, they can get little infections in that area in their flu because it, it is such a deep pocket and bacteria and things can build up in there and just start to brew some some bad things so uh, just really really clean your pet clean their skin every 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 bit of their skin cleaning it is just so very important in the pads of their feet everywhere guys don't leave anything unaddressed course you remember from past demonstrations that uh, over rinsing is very important we're still rinsing her face and the shampoo we haven't conditioned her yet but we're we're getting ready to 
but the over rinsing is key I say that all the time guys and you probably will hear me saying that in your sleep and you think I wish she would just shut up I'm tired of hearing it <laughs> but I'm gonna keep saying it over rinse okay here we go we're gonna condition her the essentials conditioner I kind of liked it was real lightweight it smelled very fresh and fragrant it uh, it rinsed very nicely I definitely like it better than the shampoo it's just me I've used every every kind of shampoo and I definitely have my favorites guys I think you would love the essentials but I don't now here's that big tip guys I hope you've stuck around to, to check this out this is really good slicker brush your dog when they're conditioning you will get globs of hair out of them and that is the exclusive tip for how to remove unwanted hair from your pet while they're in the bathtub a slicker brush brushing them while they're soaked up the hair just comes off in globs it's very rejuvenating for their skin and coat you're welcome look at that guys I want to point out this undercoat this coat is just flying off of her I mean there it's almost effortless it the slicker brush is just pulling it right out it's it's key with the conditioner and after they're washed then you put the conditioner on them and you start brushing that coat down with the the grain of the coat the way the coat lays and wants to fall you just brush down with the grain of the coat and it look it's just bleh. you'll be so thankful guys it's awesome boy do they feel good you know they need to get that out of there this is the easiest way to get it done I, mean, I can't wait to hear feedback from you guys when you try this with your pet because you won't believe how amazing their coat is afterwards and how great your dog feels you'll see how bouncy they are you know they're just happy they feel great that coat is thick and it can harbor things against their skin and it can be itchy to them if you don't properly work your dog's coat and that's what you're learning here from these demonstrations at least I hope so now I personally dedicate my old slicker brushes to become bathing brushes because they definitely get abused a little harder when they're in the tub and you're brushing your dogs with the shampoo and the soap and you know so I'll just use my old brushes after I've replaced them they become tub brushes I suggest you guys do that too this is great now see I'm rinsing her as well and still brushing I wanted to show you this tool guys you can pick these up almost at any pet store or on Amazon this is a, a bathing curry for mainly shedding dogs but any dog you can wash them with these I'll make a point to incorporate um, the use of this tool in a future demonstration but today looks like all we need is our slicker brush because it is doing the job we're, we're getting mounds and mounds of hair out of Lily here it's pretty much effortless so that that's so effective guys I hope you take advantage of this tip guys I'm really impressed with this pet wash station I love every aspect about it I hope that you're finding a lot of value in this demonstration not just from the pet wash station that we're using but through the techniques that I'm showing you as well how you can utilize those techniques on your pet in the pet wash stations of your choice let's give Lily one final heavy rinse now it's time to try out their force dryer ready so here we go we're force drying Lily um, she's quite comfortable with it I'll say that you can clearly see she doesn't mind it at all uh, the force dryer is not real powerful I, I don't know maybe I'm just expecting these force dryers to be a lot like the ones that I use in my shop but I guess that would be silly because most people aren't used to using force dryers so I, I think a, a little more of a tame version of a force dryer is definitely more beneficial to you and your pet when you're using something you're you're not really that accustomed to using um, Lily's pretty thick so I, I'm like oh my this is gonna take a long time you know I'm sitting here thinking this I'm like wow because I, I can tell when I get to force drying a dog in the shop you know about how long it's gonna take me to get it done okay 
So I just got a wake up call about force dryers and pet stations. I'm comparing them to the force dryers that I use. And there's no comparison. Um, they are nice. It would have taken us hours upon hours to dry Lily. I, I think I'm exaggerating. Okay, it would have taken us a long time to dry Lily with that force dryer. Uh, in my shop, I could have dried her and, and she's thick. I could have dried her in probably about 20 minutes with my K93. It's a master blaster. <laughs> but but I'm a professional and I, you know, that's why I bought that force dryer. That's why it was so expensive. That's why I still have it after 15 years. It's, it's, it's killer. It's great. Um, I can't compare my force dryers to the force dryers that are available at the pet wash stations. The ones they have are nice. They're comfortable to the pets. They're quiet. I, I, I can't forget that um, you're not walking out of a pet wash station with spending $80 to groom Lily. Because when you come to my shop and I groom Lily, the outcome would have been slightly different because of some of the equipment that I use. The bathing system is great. It beats hand washing any day. But that's, you guys will be just as happy with the, the job you can do at the pet wash station. Your dog will be clean. The force dryers, my force dryer versus their force dryer, yeah, it's, it's going to get the job done a lot faster and it'll actually blow out more coat. So if you have a double coated breed and you're force drying them at a pet wash station, you may find that you're not going to get the same results that I would get by grooming your double coated breed in my shop. My force dryer is much more powerful and it is a key step to blowing out the undercoat in the dog. Now with that said, would I recommend that you take your dog to a pet wash station and, and definitely find benefit in using their force dryer? Uh, absolutely. They are definitely just not the same as the ones that I use. I, I, I just want to make sure you understand that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, they are beneficial to use. You will find great value in that. I think it's also very important for me to point out that um, if you're not used to using a force dryer like most of you are not, this force dryer is safe for your pet. It's safer if you're not accustomed to it. I mean, they can, they're very powerful. Force dryers can be quite awkward to use if you're not used to it and therefore your pet would not benefit from something that you're not comfortable using on them. So it makes sense to me the force dryers that are in place for you to utilize at pet wash systems. Pet safety is always first and foremost. With that said, I'd say this force dryer is a great choice. And final step, I often will just sort of use a slicker brush to pull out any remaining hair that wants to come out. Lily's all done and they even have a doggy hitch station for her. This allows me to gather my belongings and Lily is safely secured. So what'd you think? I was pleased with everything that they had to offer. Let me show you what it ended up costing us. Typically it costs $10 for 30 minutes or so, give or take. Um, right outside of the bathing stations they have a full array of tools and products and product lines, shampoo lines, conditioners, treatments, you name it. They have it all. It's right here. And, and the staff is very, very helpful and knowledgeable about the products and tools that they sell. So they're very, very helpful to you. If you said, I, I, I need this for my dog. My dog suffers from this. Um, they, they've got products, good products. Uh, very big plus. I'm so, so impressed guys. I, I, I suggest that you go visit a pet value store and just just wander around and get the feel and the vibe for everything they have to offer you. It's it's fantastic. I can tell that Lily was very happy with this experience today. Thank you, Lily. We really appreciate you doing this for us today. Stay tuned so we can interview Sue and find out how she felt about using this pet wash station with her dog, Lily. But right now, I want you to take a look at another pet wash system. It's called
called All Paws Pet Wash. They're available across the United States. I'm not sure if they're available outside of the States, and I will find that out. However, they do have about 300 locations, and they have a location locator. I will link that in the description for you guys if you're curious to find out if they have one available to you or near you in your location. Sometimes pets are not comfortable in a social situation and, and this type of pet wash station may be better for your pet. I have researched their system. It's um, very effective. Um, they have good shampoos that they use in them and their, their equipment is very nice. I would like to demo one coming up in the future. I'm really considering it. So you guys take a look at this footage. It uh, gives you another option. It looks pretty great to me. Um, and also leave me some comments and uh, tell me if you think you, you would really like to see me go on this road trip and try out an all pause pet wash system for your benefit. They do have many different models. This particular one is enclosed. You can lock the door so that you don't have to worry about anybody walking in, your pet running out. Um, their equipment seems to be really nice. I, I would like to try this out. In this particular model, you can wash your dog on the floor. I will link information in the description of this video so you guys can check it out a little further. So guys, I have an invitation for you. I am going to have a Go Groomer audience episode. It's going to be in the very near future. I need footage from you guys. I would like you to send me a short clip, about two minutes, no longer, of you and your pet. You grooming them or you showing me examples of areas that are troublesome for you and your pet. Uh, areas you don't know how to, to approach in grooming at home that are a problem area for you and your pet. And I am going to broadcast that footage in the audience episode of Go Groomer. I'm going to talk specifically to you about your pet and those situations that may be difficult for you. Or um, maybe you can send me footage of, of things that you've learned from Go Groomer and have had success with. I would like to see that too. I would like to broadcast that as well for our friends. So here's what you need to do. In the description of this video, there is detailed instructions about how you can submit this footage to me and the information that I'm going to need from you. Um, it's specific, so read those details. There are some issues that we have to work through with YouTube here um, to keep everything uh, legit, you know, for you and for everybody else. Um, so read those details because if you don't follow them specifically, I won't be able to use your footage. And I really, really want to. I would like to speak directly to you guys as I'm viewing the footage in the video. I would like to address those issues and, and address you specifically and your pet. So you'll send me an email with your footage attached to your go-to groomer at gmail.com. It's listed in the description. Just copy and paste it, then you know you have the right address. You can take that footage directly with your smartphone. You can have somebody else video it for you um, to make things easier. And talk to me in the footage and explain to me what you want me to see and what you want to share with others here in this episode and what I can do to add value to that content for you. I will be sending you a correspondence email once I receive your footage and explain to you what I'm planning to use with your specific footage and when it's going to air because I don't want you to miss it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and ring the bell. Then you're not going to miss any of these details. One very important detail that you can't leave out, guys. In your footage, you must say, I give Amy Lee my permission to use this footage on YouTube. You must say that in the video because it is important for YouTube and it's important for you. So let's cover our bases and let's move forward here. I am so excited about this episode and I hope you guys are too. We have come a long way together already and I can't wait to tie us together even more.
Okay, are you ready to find out Sue's feelings about the pet wash station that we visited today? Well, let's go talk to her now. So, Sue, what did you think of it? That was awesome. What do you think Lily thought of it? I think Lily thought it was pretty awesome too, though, you know, she got a little tired after all. Oh my, I sound really whiny. I'm sorry. Well, but she looks amazing. She looks very comfortable. I wasn't worried that she was gonna you know, get loose in the store. I was, uh, she was secure. And she, you know, yeah. I wasn't, you didn't have to worry about her like taking off after the cute dogs in the next tub, oh, they were cute. Um, oh. or the puppy down at the end tub. I thought it was the setup was really. I was very impressed. It exceeded my expectations. Exactly. I noticed a lot of people that were using the pet wash tubs there at Pet Value were not putting their dogs on a grooming loop, and they were actually provided from the pet value. Bad, bad, bad. Always use the grooming loop that are in the tubs. It secures your dog and lets them know that they're not going anywhere. It's, I saw people actually holding their dogs and you know, come back here and I'm thinking, do you see that thing hanging there? It's for your dog so that he doesn't do that. It's not gonna hurt him. Guys, it's not going to hurt them. Okay had to say that. Um, why don't you tell everybody what we ended up spending today on Lily. We had her in there for approximately about an hour. Um, today they had a special. So we spent a good hour. Um, Amy had her suds up and, and soaked her and, and did her, uh, just a phenomenal job on her. It was half price today. So it was only $5, not 10 And then, I mean, Seriously, we use five dollars of their product. Five dollars. We could reinvent the subway <laughs> thing, right? We use what a whitener on her and, mm -hmm. and, and a conditioner. And a conditioner. They supplied it. And we left, I swear, oh, a third of her in the tub there. There was a, a mountain mass coat. Of, uh, yeah, a mountain coat that came off of her. And they clean up after you. They you insist. Even... I said I would like to clean out this tub. She said no. No. She would not let me clean out the tub. Yeah. It was awesome. So, I mean, we use easily use $5 worth of product. Oh my God, yes. Easily. And apparently they, uh, from what they were explaining to us, they have these $5 deals about once a month, she said. As you sign up yes. for their rewards perks, you'll be informed of when those deals are. And then you want to make sure that's when you get your dog in there to get a good washing. But I didn't expect to be that impressed with yeah, I did. the whole store I was impressed with. but. Yeah, I didn't, ex I didn't know what to expect, but yeah, it was definitely wonderful. It was a very positive experience. The sprayer was awesome. We were able to really get in, get Lily clean, her skin nice and clean, and rinse her. Uh, I, I just, I think everybody needs to be going to these dog wash stations, pet wash stations, especially the Pet Value. If you got one, look it up, guys. Anywhere near you. It's it's the best thing. Yeah, definitely check it out. It, you know, go and, and see what it looks like. It it was really very easy to use. The and staff was extremely was, helpful. The staff was helpful. Um, came over and gave Lily treats, and she was a little snotty and wouldn't take them right away. But <laughs> she had a lot going on. She um, was tired. She was she tired. She was get tired. She did eventually get them. But um, they yeah. had one of your favorite product lines there, Travel Clean. Um, which I ended up buying some. Um, so I did end up spending a little bit more than the $5. But but the nice thing is, is right outside of the bathing area, they had all kinds of tools you may need mm -hmm. and products, if, especially for bathing, was right close to the bathing area. They had a full array of professional products for you to purchase. Big plus. So you can go there, purchase your tools, purchase your products, and take them into their pet wash and use them on your dogs. And But aside from purchasing them, you, the staff will answer any questions you have about the products and say, look, my dog has an oily coat or my dog, you know, I need to de-shed her. What products would be best for me to use? The staff is there and very knowledgeable and very helpful, ready to answer your questions and get you set up. For success for washing your pet. And I don't know if, if this is the norm for most dog washes, but they didn't have just one. Um, they didn't have just one choice of products. They had what, like four? Or oh, the products? Yeah. Like to, about to four use different on, lines. Yeah. So we they asked us what shampoo we wanted to mm -hmm. use and what we were doing with Lily. Um, you know, so I thought that was really nice because I I it was assume like a some of them are just like you get whatever generic 
is there. Yeah, you get whatever it is that they use, and that's okay. Yeah. Oftentimes, I'm sure that they, you know, want to provide good products, but... Yeah, but if Lily isn't, you know, like we use whitening shampoo on her because mm -hmm. she's a whiter dog. Yes, they had all the options. Yeah. Agreed. Sue, would you recommend to... Absolutely. Yes, there you go, Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. And I there you have it. You need to try it. And I strongly urge you to take advantage of the pet wash stations, too, guys. Um, the pet value washes... A plus from me. I'm pretty critical. A plus. Thank you guys for joining me. And as always, I'll see you next Monday. Take care.